，你有你有冇地图啊？因为我想。誒、uh, 揾你個心啊，咁樣嗰啲咧。So to translate that, that means do you have a map?、Yeah. Because I'm trying to look for your heart. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that we do in LA all the time is we go to like the six two six area. There's a Chan Chan Tang like open like until like four a.m. or something like that.、Okay. And my buddy. Actually, it's funny. We just came back from、uh, a rap show, right? Saw Chris Brown and all them, all those people. And、uh, we ordered these like seven dollar steaks at this Cha Cha Tang. So fucking cheap, such a good deal. It's, it was called it's called like ABC Cafe or some shit like that. Of、Are、course, it、sorry? has that. <laughs> of course, it has that generic ass name, right? <laughs> I think it's still open.、Um, but Anyways, we grab these cheap ass steaks, and they're playing this like Huxley、uh, movie, like this ma- Chinese mafia movie. And but the sound was off, and my friend,、um, bro, he's hilarious. He starts like dubbing it, <laughs> and he's like, du- like the guy was talking, like it looked like a very very serious conversation, and he was like, he dubbed it like, "Don't call me Dai Lo, call me Lo Ban." <laughs> it was like so funny. So that's how that came. Lo Ban. Lo Ban. I feel like that's something. I feel like that's something、uh, ABC would fuck up or something like that, right? Yes. <laughs> like the different bot, like you、that's、know. That's true. You... Yeah, it's it's different, right? Like what's a, what's low ban is like boss boss. Thai low is like. I had a thai low. It trans- it can be sarcastic, you know. Thai low, like it yeah, can yeah. be big, big guy. You know, it's like you big <sighs> guy. That's true. Oh, that's, that's true. true. Like literally. Thai low, thai like、there. literally. <laughs> And to to our followers, ha se wui ha means black, but can be dark. You know, dark society. <laughs> it's a dark society because it's mafia, the gang gang. No, yeah. Tai lo, yeah. And so the boss would be like Tai lo, or like yeah, yeah. Who knows? No, yeah. I always imagine this. I always imagine the script where like an ABC takes over.、Uh, ABC with bad Cantonese takes over the triads and stuff, stuff, and that's like his first demand. <laughs> Call me Tai lo. Call me Loban. Loban. Call me Loban. I'm not a Thai Lo. Okay. No. But what if Coco Lo Ho Thai? You know、oh. what? Thai Lo, big brain. <laughs> They wouldn't want you to say Lo Sai as well because you don't want your Lo to be Sai. Your brain is small. <laughs> Before we begin, congrats on your launch. I am so proud of you guys, dude. Yeah, I'm just like really proud that you guys got something launched off the ground. Um, obviously, you did things like like it's a、uh, there's gonna be hiccups, but I mean, just for the audience know, they didn't gift it to me. I bought it, and because I want to support them. So if anybody's like, "Hey, give me free stuff, give me free shit," right? Just know that <laughs> you're Loban over here <laughs> invested in you guys. So don't ever like don't ever fall for that. Okay, so、uh, awesome.、Yeah. All right, I'm, we're so excited、okay. to learn Cantonese, man. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll actually start calling myself a Dai Lo instead of Lo Ban. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be your testimonial. Yes. What's, What's up? up, brother? Hello. We're international. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, There's like three different different time zones here. I know, right? We're like dealing with a、uh, Vin. You're based out of Hong Kong, right? Now you actually have someone that like looks like me that actually like speaks perfect Cantonese now. <laughs> Hello, yeah, everyone. Today we have a very, very special guest. A very cool、Ooh. guest. Oh yeah, Ngai Koi. All right, <laughs> you might you might have watched his super popular reel on Instagram. Risen up,、oh, a girl,、uh, and succeeding. Yes, succeeding. So let's see.、Uh, let's uh, let's listen to for his the、intro. well. <laughs> Before that, like for the longest time, you know, like. For the two episodes that we have with Kevin, he's been asking like, "Yeah, give me advice on how to raise up girls in Canton." We're like,、uh, "No way!" We don't、no、know、way. so much, but like you know, having、okay. you here. <laughs> Let's be real. I can't raise up anyone with my Canton, like with my elementary school Cantonese man or the the Cantonese I use on my papa. What kind of girls <laughs> am I gonna raise up, dude? <laughs> I know one. Unless you want me to raise up your papa or something, so I can be fair. Be fair. So、okay. you can introduce yourself first. Tell us who you are. Okay, so my name's Vincent, and I just started doing content. Somehow, one of my videos popped like popped off, and 
got like millions of views and stuff and i, I don't i don't really know how to react to it but still yeah. I, I but still it was quite it was quite funny and because a lot of my because when i started doing this like started making uh insta videos like instagram videos um like a lot of my friends like don't believe that i can ever go anywhere with it and then i just yeah yeah i'm gonna prove you guys wrong something yes like that. Somehow, <laughs> somehow it happened mm -hmm. was kevin like, how yeah, about you I say how, how did you how did you find him Oh, great yeah, question. Yeah. Um, I think it was a bookstore. The Algo Gods blessed me with your content. And <laughs> oh. uh, the first one I saw was like your uh, bookstore one. I was like, oh, that's fucking smooth and shit. <laughs> I was no. like taking notes and whatnot and try to practice in my car and shit. <laughs> Didn't work. Anyways, um, and then I caught your like 1.5 million ones and I watched a few of your other videos. And I saw oh, that God. I saw that you're a new content creator. So I was like, oh, shit. Like, I remember when I was a new content creator. Dude, yeah. just getting like a shout out or just some affirmation that you're doing like great content, like it means the world at that time. So that's why I reached uh, out to you. I mean, yeah, I appreciate it when you reached out and yeah. um, having you guys like obviously because I think you guys do it more consistently and like longer than me. And then like, yeah. I don't, I honestly, I don't even know there were that many Canto speakers in this world at all like i had no yes, idea yes yes i thought like hong kong and like guangzhou and then macau places like that are the oh yeah macau as well like are the only places that speak Canto. and then like and that, i think America that was the well. same for us too like when we started this channel like it wasn't even supposed to be focused on cantonese it was just focused oh. on us being third culture kids and moving to america like uh, the cultural difference and then yeah. boom like all the cantonese just popped up and we're like yeah. okay shoot there's so a little bit about that. us like we are born and raised in macau yeah. uh and just five years ago we moved to america and obviously oh, okay. like we learned cantonese our whole lives came here we're like we didn't expect at all to reconnect with our cantonese until we connected with each other you know and we're like oh, let's make content from it you know, to see where it could go. Then, yeah, yeah we, we, we also didn't think we would relate to so many people that have like similar yeah, exactly. connections to Cantonese. So, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, ethnically, where are you guys from? Like, mm. I am uh, Sri Lankan and Filipino. So. Sri Lankan. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and then Filipino Brazilian. We're both half Filipino. Yeah. Okay. And Kevin's Toy Sunnies. Toy Sunnies. Oh. So, so, fun fact I'm not surprised yeah. that there's so many Cantonese speakers around the world. Because the first immigrants that left uh, left and immigrated to different countries were like my people, Toy Sun people, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of Cantonese people uh, moved out there. And so, for me, like, I'm actually, I was at, my ass was supposed to be a Peru of all places. That's so cool. I know. I was like, <laughs> dude, I probably speak with like a uh, freaking uh, like accent or something like that, <laughs> South American accent. But um, yeah, like w my mom threw the Hail Mary. She clutched it. We got into the U.S. So like, that's crazy. My wow. mom's side. I'm crazy. first gen. Uh, I'm first gen Chinese ABC, uh, American born Chinese. And then on my dad's side. I'm like fourth generation ABC. I don't know if the papers are fake or forged, but oh. I traced it back because, you know, they used to have sell papers fourth back. Gen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, I traced back. it back to rail railroads. So, I was like, oh, shit. I am like historical. OG. Yeah, explains why my Cantonese is like okay sometimes and like really shitty other times. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so does Toy San have a specific language there? Like, yeah uh dialect. Oh, okay yeah uh, it's like minor things it's like instead of sick fun it's like heck fun heck fun oh it, it's like no a idea. southern like, right southern it's a southern like... accent <laughs> and for, instead of a uh, number four uh like yeah you some say right it's Yi yi slam slam li or something like that. Okay. I've been wow. trying to touch up. I'm try been trying to touch up on my toy song ever since our episode. Nice, like, fuck! Nice. I forgot a lot about it. Yeah. Yeah. But but I assume you speak English in your within your family most of the time. 
Uh, it's it's actually yeah. kind of mixed. So oh. my dad, when he was alive, we always spoke English. My mom kind of spoke English. Oh. Uh, kind of. She speaks like seventy thirty, seventy like thirty, seventy percent English, thirty percent. And then my whole my whole like family, uh, my papa and all them speak mixed between Cantonese and Toisan, so it really screwed me up. And th those are my aunties too. They speak the same thing. They speak like a mix of everything, so it's all messed up. Bro, when I went to Cantonese school, like, dude, like the Cantonese teacher was like, "What the fuck are you saying?" I was like, oh, shit. I, was like, I don't know. Maybe it's my Toisan. Like, I don't know this shit. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Don't make fun of me. That's why yeah. I'm here. <laughs> Just different accent, I guess, or like yeah. It's just different accents. I mean, I realize in America there's so many different accents. There's type, like you know, some people say forward instead of forward. You know, and we're literally talking to someone forward. with a different accent. So what are we talking about here, Cal? <laughs> but anyways, um, just before we go any further, so Yasmin and Paji, Paji, uh, not Bachi. Thank you, Paji. <laughs> No. Bakchi means idiot. Ufa, ufa. <laughs> it's like I make fun of myself before other people do too. <laughs> All right. You guys speak good kids, so ha Paji uh, has re really good expressions. It's so, <laughs> so funny. What I said. Yeah, exactly, just like that. Like <laughs> so animated, right? Oh like, my god. Really animated. No, yes. it, it's a blessing and a, it's actually sometimes a lot of times a curse because you know it's hard to hide my emotions when I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. People would be like, you know, like some, you know, in the past when someone like would come up to me and and flirt with me and I'm not interested and it's really obvious, he'd be like, "Whoa, whoa, like calm yeah. down. I just asked a question." And I'm like, I'm just expressing my <laughs> <laughs> my feelings no, no, no. No, <laughs> but with that it. said what is the craziest story like while shooting flirty content because i can imagine not everyone accepts it <laughs> or do they because no, i i don't mean to rant or anything but in hong kong it's really really difficult to do these kind of things because everyone's very like private secure and like really private like most of them are introverts and then they have like this sort of like bubble within them and then if you like i have to like really read onto those like social cues yeah. before i go in because you could, I, I could like yeah, personal like, space is a huge thing like it's yeah, like yeah. if you approach me like why are you talking to me like we they get don't like we grew it. up in macau mm -hmm. they don't yeah exactly yeah so they don't really like it when you just burst into their like Oh, individual yeah. bubble and then just go start talking to them and stuff like because yeah i'm sort of like that too because for me i me myself is it's kind of a funny story because i was a really 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 quiet and introverted kid before well i am still now sort of but i just tried so hard to push myself out there and stuff and then obviously when i went to the uk and stuff uh started learning and then learning to talk to people and then try doing stuff like speeches and like uh in school and then like maybe do a little bit of like performances like drama and singing and stuff so that's how i got a little bit more comfortable with things mm -hmm. but eight i would say like at least 80 percent of the people here is like really really hard to talk to so but yeah back to the point like where I wouldn't say there were like too many crazy stories because I'm not that like ambitious Logan with my Paul. content creating. I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm not <laughs> going. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm not like gonna go adre all adrenaline and like do that. I just try to like even for that bookstore mm. video and stuff. Like I'm just quietly like not trying to Subtly. really invade. Yeah, like I don't want to like invade too much of her space and then like. But I would say one of the most embarrassing ones is obviously like I thought there was this girl, uh, girl at the mall and then I think we, we did take a video of it as well like this girl at the mall like a cute girl a cute Hong Kongese girl uh I think she was reading as well like same sort of situation and then I walked to her and I started speaking 
the line that I wrote for myself for that day that, that I tried to shoot. And then like his boyfriend, which is like really tall, stood behind me. And then they were filming it. And then my friends were laughing at me so hard. Oh it was God. so embarrassing. And then I was like, uh, when I saw the boyfriend, I was like, oh shit, are you guys together? <laughs> It got it got way too awkward. Like it got way oh too embarrassing for me. And I was like, I'm just trying to do some like weird video here. That, uh, I'll leave you guys to it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> like what was his reaction? What's his face? <laughs> no, like I said, like they are really introverted people, so yeah. they don't really ha express like oh, yeah. like you do. But <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> like I probably I think they find it funny as well. <laughs> Bro, wow happens to the outtakes like do you ever are you ever planning on posting them i would love to see like the blooper reel if you're comfortable with it but it's just i honestly like in hong kong i'm just a bit scared because you know like there are like a lot of discussion boy. around oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah triads as well in hong kong uh but i don't know i'm just talking about how the sort of privacy and things goes on in hong kong normally when i post yeah. i normally dm the girl first before posting okay because like in hong kong i think people are stricter with the rules and stuff and i don't want to get into much trouble when i post someone without their consent like because it's just really really oh, yeah. there's a lot of things to consider in hong kong yeah we but, got, i mean we we got to get you out to america so you can shoot some unfiltered content then because there's no in privacy. Chinatown. there's no privacy here dude <laughs> yeah yeah but i think just I think, yeah but yeah it's funny because I, I think what's special about my videos is that i did it in hong kong that that is like that's, yeah. that's way more may, way more impressive like people like having small talk in america like people they that's love true. having convos conversations and then they just generally generally they're like more accepting to like these kind of situations but in hong kong like what the hell are you trying to do are you trying to sell me some kind of bohem you know what i mean uh, yeah. insurance <laughs> plan and then like you're trying to sell it's... sell something funny story again uh before doing risk videos i i tried doing like singing to strangers videos oh i saw one of those videos once i tried singing like a really old canto uh old old chinese song to a old oh. woman and she literally think she literally thought that i was like a fraud like i was like trying to Ah, Christina, you know, oh my like God. steal money from her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, oh, sure. no, no, I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I offered to sing a song to her, and then she was like, no, 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 no money, no money. <laughs> like that. It's Don't let me story, enjoy like... it. <laughs> I thought you yes. were gonna say she was gonna te she she teared up because of this old song, but that's what no. I thought. <laughs> right? That's what I thought. The way you I set mean, it up. I, I mean, like... if she. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry to break it to you, but like that's the way it is. And then like, yeah, it could have happened if she let me sing sing the song, but she did. I was like, yeah, okay, fine. I'll ruin the video, man. That's so funny! Oh my gosh, but it's so true about like um, you know people there being so closed off. Like sometimes I would be looking at someone for a little too long, and they'll be like, "Mom, huh? What are you looking at? Say <laughs> fun I'm yeah. like. <laughs> I was just looking at the, you know, the view outside the bus. Pan Mui, Pan Mui is like a Filipina girl, but in a like oh, yeah. a derogatory in a way. Kind of like, like it's a, not yeah, nice. It's Guys, it's rude. Question: Do you have a do you have a type that you go for, or like I guess you you already talked about how like you're gonna go for someone who you think is a little bit more open, right, to like small talk, but like. Is there a type that you go for? Or is it always tall uh, girls? <laughs> tall girls? <laughs> oh boy. Actually, I did I did go out with her afterwards. It was funny. Oh, how was it? <laughs> I do I did go out with her. We have some we took some quite funny footages. It's funny because when I walked out with her, like I think she was still sort of like one seven six centimeters. Okay. And then that's I like am... what in inches? <laughs> we have to translate to inches. And look it up, look it up, because I, I don't even know. I'll, I'll pull it up. I'll feet, be Jamie. How many feet is that? Get a girl. Ah, get a girl. Ah, how many feet? Oh, five, oh, five, five, seven, five, eight. Five, seven, five, eight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that it? 
it's like as tall as me well i'm a bit taller than that but yeah so i think she's like six cent six to seven centimeters taller than me but still there were eyes on the, on the street when we walked together it was quite funny because in hong kong it's i think it's really people just won't accept it like oh, yeah. how is there such a height difference within like a male and female like sort of thing but is that your type quite, oh tall girls i mean i don't mind but i think it would be difficult to do you know how you need to yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> so you need to hold her hand and then sometimes you just feel stuff like that but no Aww. like i think tall girls have great personalities anyway mm. like what's your short ones her. have an attitude no 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 yeah for you guys <laughs> short Arcana. ones do have attitudes man oh um, hey I'm that's sure. yes what my type was uh yes. dude, I'm a, dude even like ever since i was like then how old are you if you if you don't mind me oh asking. yeah oh yeah uh, i'm 23 okay 23 so ever <laughs> since like i was like ben's age like okay. i was in love with abgs dude like the five five two five foot like abgs uh, i don't know they're, uh... they're so toxic but it's like oh, feisty <laughs> very feisty um, go ahead and then just to give you context too, back when, when I was in my twenties, like living in Hong Kong, uh, I used to try to riz up girls in Hong Kong. I read, oh my God, this is so- old. There's a book? <laughs> Fucking game and shit. I had all these pickup artists. Oh books. my this, God. This is my same copy from when I was like 20 or something Did like you that. use no, that in Hong Kong? I brought Kong this girls? to Hong Kong. I brought this to Hong Kong actually. I totally oh, forgot about it. That's this is my copy to Hong Kong. <laughs> I respect it, man. That is so, damn, I he see. put in work. You put in work. Well, yeah, you, maybe you can tell us what Kaolo. you learned from that book. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. exactly. But finish, finish your type first. Yeah. <laughs> My type, yeah, I love like freaking the blonde, short, like oh man, like the AB. Do you know what the ABG look is at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Describe it. Describe to, it. To, describe to, it to people who don't. Uh, yeah. How would you describe an ABG? Uh, they probably vape. They probably like. There's different types of ABG. Right? Too, Isn't there but... different types? Heavy makeup. They probably like love Hennessy or some shit like that. And, uh, <laughs> they go out too much and uh, very toxic. Wow. They're very avoidant. Like if you're into the dating personalities, they're probably very like avoidant uh, uh, attachment style. So, very. Uh -huh. It's like very the bad. Absurd. It's like the bad bitch for like Asian girls, pretty much. That's like, that's like the type. <sighs> you know what? You know what's really interesting? As I get older, I find these like reformed AB like reformed, reformed? ABGs are a bit older. They get into like spirituality and stuff, and they're actually really really cool. Some of my best friends actually, so it's pretty it's pretty funny to see how the ABGs have evolved over time. <laughs> Back wow. in my day, they were like super gangster. They'll fucking cut you and shit. <laughs> but these days, they're a little bit more tame. The younger generation, and now like ABGs from my my generation are just like really in. They're crystal girls now who have the ABG. You like, probably found crystal. therapy. <laughs> Probably for all there their... found them. Yeah. I bet I bet there's a book behind there that says Evolution of ABGs. <laughs> <laughs> Written by me, by the way. Oh, Kevin yeah. Yee. He's right. Please do. Please he studied. <laughs> yeah. So then any favorite canto phrases or riz that works every time? Like you guys fall like fall over. Right. In terms of canto riz, I just think of what's in that moment like obviously like something like that bookstore one right actually me and my friends came up with it whilst in there whilst we were in there and then like it was quite funny but yeah again like uh, we didn't think she would react this well as well to to that line where, whereas i was like because obviously when hong if hong kong people hear us using like cantonese pick up lines they would cringe so badly like it's a different if you yeah because you guys you guys speak canto right yeah the, like yeah. the traditional ones would be like so to translate that that means do you have a map yeah. because i'm trying to look for your heart <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah thanks for the translation no like it's i think Kev, like kevin you need to know like it's different like in canto in canto culture it's pretty cringy to say these lines to girls and then like question yeah. is it not cringy to say this in english like 
I think I think I don't it's know. What less... do you guys think? No, yeah, personally, I feel like if I speak English, it feel more smooth and fluent. Okay. And then like, can I hop I on speak... that? Like, say because it's like even music is yeah. like like that way. That's why a lot of Cantonese speakers actually listen to Mandarin songs because they think Cantonese. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. For that video, there were like a lot of comments saying it's cringe because they speak Cantonese, and then they're like, "Oh God." So norm normally, if I really, really, really want to uh, get a girl's number or Instagram, like normally, I would just say, "Uh, oh, for me, you're the Instagram, you know, say, yeah, yeah. Can I just get go your straight, Instagram? straight into it, stuff like that." Yeah, That's just true. nothing too much, cause yeah, they the girls themselves, like when they hear those lines, they 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 will feel embarrassed themselves as well, like when they hear those like sort of cheesy lines and stuff but cool. but i think it's fun i yeah. think it's fun and i do it for the content all the time so <laughs> <laughs> sometimes yeah, it's so Thailand, cool. yeah, Thailand, you see the girl like sometimes i i love cheesy shit you know <laughs> i know you do you post up all the stuff on your instagram all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah no yeah so maybe some people there <laughs> What about you, Kevin? What about you? What Ooh. phrase do you use? Oh, I don't know. Like, I even think like one of the reasons why I appreciate your bookstore uh, thing, Vin, was because I, that's actually my favorite place to meet people. Bookstores. Uh, and all that. Yeah. So I use a lot of observational openers. I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah. really curious. What make you pick up that book? Like of all <laughs> books, right? Oh, interesting. Um, okay. But what I find is like, yeah, you're right. Uh, like, I think. English, like using pickup lines, are super, super cringy too. Like, I think any language, like it's that overt, is like very cringy. But something yeah. I appreciate about your bookstore video is like kind of the tonality that you had. You kind of like, I don't know, it's very like, I don't know, it's not like super loud and overt. And something I think about, like when I'm approaching people, friends, like strangers, girls, whatever, is like not only the explicit, like people think about like what to say all the time. But no one like really thinks about the implicit, the tonality, the writ, like the, the, the meaning behind the communication, the delivery. Yeah. Wow, I feel like that's wow. a real risk. So, that's true. wow, I could say anything, and like honestly, I can make it sound super seductive. Right? You can, yeah, you can say something like shit, and then just depend on how. <laughs> or you, you can it. sound like a uh, hamsa blow. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that other creator, the Australian guy, he is so freaking funny. Oh, what's his name? Yeah, he always has the hums up low constant. I'm like dying, dude. It's, it's like, Kebeth, right? Are you talking about Yeah, Kebeth. Yeah, Kebeth yeah, yeah. Kebeth is the best. He's I always so trend funny. on his comments and stuff because I always write like ratchet shit. Uh, there, I need yeah. To, yeah, I need to check him out as well. Yeah, he's funny. He's so yeah. funny. Yeah, you, nev you never want to be you never want to be on that side. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I assume you guys have been having a lot of first dates. You know, like what would be a great suggestion for a first date, you think? Bro, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take notes from the Riz Rizzler oh, over the here. So <laughs> he's a I can't imagine Rizzler. that yeah. must be he's easy not... thinking of dates, you know. He, he, he's the Loban, I guess, right? He's a boss. Loban. All right, I've gotta say, really don't don't think of me as like a player or something, or <laughs> stuff like that. Just because Too I late. do these bits. <laughs> Just no, 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 like, tenga, huh? I pure <laughs> his pure <laughs> or innocent. So, Oh yeah. He's a, yeah, oh, he's yeah, a exactly, what we call exactly. in America a diu A diu <laughs> Do people actually say so, like no, that? No, no, I just made that shit up, dude. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> but that's okay. pretty funny. Yeah. No, that 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 one is good. It should be in somewhere. Okay, uh okay, I've got I've got I've got to say I'm not a diu you know. <laughs> uh I'm actually a lover boy at heart. <laughs> now nah, I'm joking. I'm still like first dates i think i think they're really important if you really really want 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 that relationship going well like like kevin himself i do have uh my own thoughts and how i do read about this or think about dating and stuff a lot because personally for me because i used i used to get rejected a lot because I, I was just, basically i was just too shy like too shy of a person to do anything so like now i would be like yeah, if I have an opportunity, I really want to seize them. And, like, I don't want to miss out on any, like, 
opportunities to know someone better or like if I have a crush or something, I really mm -hmm. want to tell them stuff. Like Kevin said about the explicit, implicit, like I don't think what you say is really important. It's what you like your give vibe. off. The yeah, your vibe. Giving that really good first impression. Having a laugh or whatever, like they have an impression of you and then try to uh, get a date afterwards when you get their content. You know, like when you're approaching girls and you're like dating, this is the stuff that we used to talk about at your age. Um, so I'm yeah. curious about like how you think. Yeah. Um, how do you know if something is a date or not? Are you more, are you personally more direct or indirect with your approach or your intent, I guess? Like how, how would I define something as a date? Because obviously like the girls could be considering you as a friend sometimes, but if you use like a cold approach on the streets and stuff, I feel like the girl knows that you want to take this further. Like the girl sort of knows that you're actually being serious. So I would say it depends on how you let so you wait, you wait for them first to like, kind of like, like, oh, she's actually interested in me. So maybe this, I think you could sort of tell if she's interested in stuff like, mm -hmm. and she, if she's not like impressed with you at first and she wouldn't even give you her contact and then like afterwards i think through text or anything like mm -hmm. you just need to land the date and then sort of tell her Dude, it that... sounds like a job interview bro <laughs> <laughs> you just never know i mean she slept with me I and know. all that and she's i don't think she likes me still i think she's like you know uh, but i don't know with yeah. those abgs you gotta be careful too <laughs> I feel like a yeah, lot of I girls mean... like to be vague because no one wants to be embarrassed first off. Like no one wants and no one wants to be rejected. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. it's like yeah, they yeah. want to show as little as possible so that it's right. like, in case they are not feeling that is the same true. vibe. Oh, I can So that would you that say true. that being direct just makes you more vulnerable because you're like, hey, I'm really interested in you. Let's do this, blah, blah. Does that mean like rejection would hurt more? Like because, you know, you're being more upfront about it. But if you're being uh, indirect yeah. and more vague, like does that protect your heart a little more? <laughs> I, yeah, I think, I think for the dude, for the dude himself, I think he should be direct, but maybe if he doesn't want to look too aggressive like doesn't want to look too i don't know like try hard then maybe like uh, show leave up, it like show up on a, with the tuxedo on the first date <laughs> That's probably too much right yeah you need to sort of like define during the first date sort of yeah whether it's serious or not but how do you do that though like your opinion paying for I, yeah, the bill it's just... <laughs> I, I personally, I, I don't do it in front of the girl. I feel like I don't want to have that embarrassing moment where we were like, yeah, no, I'll pay, no. Oh. My time. No, I would normally. He goes talk to the I waitress would... and be like, split it. And then the waitress comes out with two bills. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That's the bathroom that's trick, how... the Chinese bathroom trick, but westernized, <laughs> I guess, right? <laughs> or Dutch. Yeah, no, no, no. I would suggest that you should actually like pay for the bill for the first date if you're the one who's uh one. initiating things like if you're the one who's asking for that day and stuff uh, i would say i'm going to the bathroom or if she's going to the bathroom and stuff Smooth. like i would pay pay for it like that's the best way and then if if i really couldn't do that like i normally i i, I have this line if she saw me paying for the bill and then she's like no, I insist paying and stuff like that. I think it's already a good sign. No, I normally I would say like something like, "It's fine, maybe uh, you can pay for it next time." Ah, uh, like second date, so you then, pay yeah, for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. So you have a second date. What about you, but Kevin? Something... Oh, yeah. It's so expensive oh, yeah. in Las Vegas. You know, like. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's more expensive, expensive in, in LA. It's like more expensive in LA. Uh, um. So yeah, I don't. So for me, I always like pay for like, uh, first like first date yeah, or yeah. first like first actually i make it a rule for me like usually the first time i meet someone like i always take care of the first thing because i want to base the the relationship off generosity and just like you know giving first so many people especially in the west they're always taking shit and all that so mm. exhausting i try to spot those people and just stay away from them but um for the people that i do vibe with and stuff like 
yeah, I always I always take care of the first uh, first time. And, yeah. Um, something that you kind of said, uh, Vin, earlier, it's like, I think about how do you know if it's like a date or not? And like, for me, the reason why I ask that is because sometimes I struggle with it because I'm more <laughs> indirect versus direct with my intent. Yeah. What I, what I do over time is like, I think about it is, man, we bit, if we're here, right. Think about how many generations, like it took for like they kept on reproducing they kept on fight natural evolution right i was like fuck if i just spend enough time with someone back. there's like no way that i can fuck this up well unless like i got unless i have like incest genes in me or something like that and some like <laughs> but if you spend enough time with someone i i find that like attraction and all that is just so magnetic and you, ch yeah. you can't you can't resist it so yeah yeah allow me to like sort of Rack for a minute, like, because normally I, I don't, I don't actually Please text. Do. I don't actually like text girls too much unless we're in good, like, I, unless we're like almost dating, sort of, oh. in that stage. Before that, I, I only ever like say when's our next date, and I never actually would fail a date or <laughs> stuff like that. Like, I actually like, no, for real, like, because. <laughs> That's the sort of uh, that's the main main goal. I think I sort of like it. if you get the, I agree. you don't really need to talk too much. I think you just need to be direct and be decisive. That's She'll fair. If like a girl it, wants she, you, she will, she will go come because to, she, yeah. Because she if a guy and, does that, it's creepy, yeah. right? <laughs> if, yeah. Because if they say no already <laughs> and you're just Canceled. like um. When is there? I mean, like, come on, let's do this date. Let's do blah blah blah. Like, all right, dude. Yeah. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, and if she and if she's not interested in me, I can like tell from like a mile away. So yeah. I just stop texting her. Like, but uh, there's hmm. don't need to waste time on it. So I I like that because like I think I see some of my friends struggling with dating right now, and they're like talking way too much via text. I'm like, leave some mystery yeah. for like the time that you meet up. You know mm. exactly exactly actually I mean, that's a good tip no don't yeah. texting so much I'm that's really, for when you're like the first few dates right like when you're getting really, to know each other i mean yeah exactly like especially like i'm a really bad texter like <laughs> i don't you can I misunderstand always... text so much you oh can't my god. oh my god yeah, exactly. that's so true yeah. exactly. like, especially when you don't know the person that well dude voice i always yeah i use voice a lot and if I really need to talk to them, like I video chat very, very quickly. Because I'm also busy. I, like it's not these like elusive exactly. strategies where I'm just trying to position myself higher. It's like, dude, I'm fucking busy. I have like businesses to. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, Vin, but I have businesses to like run and shit. I like I can't. I, I used, can't spend time. I yeah. used to look at a lot of like dating videos, like dating advice videos on YouTube. They would tell me I shouldn't be texting too much or be too available to the girl and i would actually like pretend that i'm doing something else in order to like tell the girl that no nah, i just have this sort of like uh sports training and stuff that i'm gonna do and then like pretend that i have a lot of stuff to do in, like in school and stuff just to like build that sort of like scarcity i don't know how do you say it like because girls hate it when you're like, just like too available I think. as fuck yeah i know friend, the yeah, friend yeah, yeah. that's like how you friend zone yourself hella quick being a super like traditional nice yep guy, right exactly like when you're just talking to her all the time she's just gonna you're just basically there to like make her feel good like that's, make her feel like mm. it's probably like too much feminine energy wouldn't you agree like mm. I, yeah you you don't want the girl to think that like you have nothing to do. You don't have anything else to do. Yeah, you're a exactly. loser. Yeah. It's like what about um, those like hopeless romantic uh, situations where the guy? Uh, yeah, I I used to be like that. I used to like text a girl up, and then I get friends with them so easily, and that's how I learned it the hard way. Like even if I'm in training, I would use my phone and then just text her. But that's mm -hmm. the wrong that's the wrong approach, right? And you really really need to let her know that she's not the only girl that you're talking to. So even if she is in the big, I think yeah, yeah, in the big. Then later yeah, it's gonna it's... be like I saw you online and you did not reply. What are you doing? Yeah, I can't be asked to text. I'm just gonna just go straight for the dates, and if it go, and if it goes well, then 
we'll talk like i mean if it goes well we'll text and we'll vibe mm -hmm. around and stuff but if it doesn't go well i'm probably ghosting her <laughs> <laughs> you, you ghost <laughs> yeah not in the mean way like sort of slowly fade away stuff like that. <laughs> slowly you just text her less and less oh, wow. jen what is this uh you're are you considered gen z or like gen alpha i don't yeah, even what's... know what are you i think i'm still gen z okay is this does it end 90 1999 because okay. i'm born in 2000 oh, oh you're my sister's age uh... Wait, no, never. Oh, mind. she he's like, oh, whoops, it's another one. <laughs> that it? E date. We got some surprise guests. Ooh. Her sister. Is she yeah, seeing yeah. anyone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's unavailable. Sorry. Breakout oh, room. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, because so it runs in, because it runs in, runs in the family. The oh. attractiveness. Oh. <laughs> so smart. Look at him. Take notes, guys. Take notes. The Rizzler. Take notes. I Kevin, take notes. <laughs> Dude, but have ever, yeah, have here, you guys I'm... ever like, you know, like actually came across a woman with Asian fever and is it like awkward or something? You know? Oh, that's a really, really good question. Like the <laughs> anime chicks? Yeah, anime. <laughs> <laughs> like that that viral video on the, the what, what do you know? Yeah. The Jubilee. Can oh, I was it Jubilee? <laughs> no, it's the it was the uh it was um, like the button. Uh huh. Uh huh. The uh, the cut or what? I, I forgot. Uncut. The, uncut. Uh, uncut. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was like the like button like... where you, you can like buzz out people. <laughs> She put intention that she liked Asian guys, and yes. the guy knew, and he was just testing. Was like... I mean, I've not experienced it. There are people who are extremely obsessed with Asian culture, like a creepy way. sexual stuff as well, like fetish fetishizing, fe fetishizing. Yeah, especially fetish K-pop too these days. K-pop and yeah, yeah exactly. K-pop is a new one. Yeah, oh my god, like, are you Korean? Exactly. Like if you talk about like Jungkook and then like BTS and stuff. The girls go crazy right now. Like, about this. It's, it's really, really funny. I don't know. Do you, uh, what about you guys? Do you guys like hip hop and stuff? Like, back then was Big Bang, you know, G Dragon. Oh, yeah, I've, yeah, Yo, I know them. T O P was my favorite. He's so fucking hot. Like, okay, that was back then. Just... You know, like it wasn't that <laughs> popular, but then so many like it just became such a popular thing mm -hmm. and i got bored and it's so expensive to be a fan like that you know like if, to be obsessed with um like k-pop i remember like, that. like yeah. that one time when i went to korea with my family like i even bought her like stickers for like these <laughs> top <laughs> and like all of them <laughs> i was like oh my god yeah, it's so hot yeah. that they wear eyeliner <laughs> <laughs> It is. I think it is. But yeah, some some girls, especially like some white girls, they just have that kind of finish. I don't know. Yeah. It's, just kind it, of it's just so intense too. Like you know, like it's yeah. A, I mean, you, it's okay to like someone's culture, but to be like, I like you because you're this. It's it's like. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, I I love some cultures. I mean, I love. I I do like white girls and stuff, but I would never like be so obsessed with them that i'm just gonna date them or i'm just it. gonna to be fair my mom does watch okay. a lot of k-drama talking about k-drama like most of the stuff and dates and stuff i think people can actually learn from them because obviously like k if you've seen k-drama like really really exaggerate extra exaggerating if you actually look at sort of like things how the dudes are like caring about the girl and stuff yeah. I think I think they're worth worth learning. I think I think some of the K dramas really affected me as well. It's almost like in terms of dating. It's almost like um getting inspiration and kind of like seeing like yeah, oh yeah, they're yeah. creating like they're creating like um thoughtfulness like a feeling of thoughtfulness or creating a yeah, feeling yeah, yeah, of yeah. Mysteri surprise or whatever, right? Uh, so yeah, you, like more like a one tenth version, right? Like of the <laughs> yeah. even the things that we were talking about, like the push and pull, like the how you don't need to always be with the girl and stuff like you know how the guy is always like unavailable and it's sometimes when when the girl needs her the most and it somehow he's there and then like <laughs> some days some days the guy is like ignoring her and but then some days he's really like that's actually a game like that's actually the, the writers are actually onto something like i'm not i'm not joking that's ben that's, that's that's how he is in his relationships man <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm I'm so curious. What do you feel like is gonna happen? Like when you're in a long term, like if you find like a partner or something like that. 
what's going to happen to your content, you think? Are you going to do relationship oh. content? Or are you going <laughs> to still what? do the Rizzy? No, I'd actually, act. right now, in terms of content, I think I'm going to start transi transitioning mm -hmm. into, like, what I want to do. Instead of, like, Rizzy and stuff. Mm -hmm. well, obviously, I will, I will still do Riz. And what is it? Stuff. Singing? Are you going to sing, Chanko? Oh, yeah. Singing is going to be on another account. And then, like, the other stuff but still in terms of content i would like to do like something like you guys do like a uh, podcast or like uh talking about like my own thoughts on things like how you because right now i still don't think i'm too comfortable with talking to the camera and stuff like that mm. really want to move into that but yeah back to that question it's like i vow to myself this is a really funny thing okay i actually vow to myself uh that i won't actually start dating before 25 like before i'm actually like doing well in life mm -hmm. like because i'm sort of that because i don't know if i watch too much you know andrew tate and stuff <laughs> i don't know if he, i don't know if i watch too much of those like grind set and stuff videos like <laughs> they always tell you if you're not good enough of a man like you won't you won't give the uh, sort of life you can give to that's for everyone if you're not like secure with yourself life financially, yeah exactly and your emotions like yeah it's just you just can't give and you can't receive like properly yeah. plus you're young yeah. But, I, yeah. so vin serious okay, question see. then are you going to shave your head and go sure. monk mode before you're 25 <laughs> that's two years <laughs> Well, I mean, I still have to do the risk videos, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is but, yeah, your business. <laughs> that is your personal development. I do, I do want to, I do want to try having like uh, challenges, like uh, risk challenges. Like you have a handicap, like you have something like something. <laughs> Riz, you risk girls when you're bold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that would be funny. That would be funny. Uh, then, did you ever watch a simple pickup back in the day? They used to do like. Pokemon challenge. They had to dress up as like freaking Pokemon characters to try to pick up girls and stuff. Do you ever <laughs> you never saw those vi early videos? No? No, 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 no. I'm actually really inspired by those people who just go up to girls on the streets and then just talk to them. I, I don't think I'm that smooth yet. Everyone I... has room for improvement. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hope I can like do better and stuff. But still, yeah. 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 Do you think your Riz game in Cantonese or English is like, which one would you rank like higher? Oh, definitely English. When, when, um, you know, you know, when I'm like one, bo one bottle deep in soju. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Just one. laughs> that's my, that's my, that's my ultimate. That's not a joke. No, like, I mean, Riz game, you just have to like be chill. I think you just need to be fun to be around with obviously if you're like at a bar or something but in public like you don't want to linger too long yeah you just want to yeah, be straightforward yeah. like mm -hmm. I, I find you yeah i find don't you don't want to seem too yeah. too much like a hamsa blow you know yeah you, you don't want to creep around too long like you just want to go there and then like i think yeah i think you're attractive but yeah wow. is it okay if i get your instagram stuff like that like I are think, there yeah. any tips like for like actually get impressing asian girls you think like if anyone wants to come up to an asian girl and ask for a date is there any like you know pointers before anyone comes in maybe hong kong girls mm. hong kong asian girls yeah i mean yeah from what i've experienced so far <laughs> it is it is daunting it is really daunting i know most of them are good people but like they look really mm unapproachable oh. like mm. their face is like guff or bf yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, face. they have it's really difficult to tell if if they're like approachable or not like chill mm -hmm. like chill enough like the vibe and stuff but still like i think if you if you actually use the cold approach and then you're like on the street and you see someone really really that really caught your eye i think mm. it's just worth a try it's just like you oh God, just try. like sorry i'm losing the audio yes I can yes. still oh, hear. she she oh, didn't no, say it out no, loud. I didn't say it out loud. I just oh, I didn't uh, want to stop that. I was just like you know reacting. <laughs> I didn't yeah, want to like yeah. talk over you. So ignore my yeah, face. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just always drawn to her expressions. Like 
<laughs> she's doing like animated like stuff oh, in the background. It's just funny. It's really funny. Well, uh, but yeah, because obviously I I don't know if you guys have this, but like when you see someone in public and then they're just I could have like butterflies just seeing them and stuff like that. It's just worth a try. I think. I think yeah, I think it's just worth a try, even if it's like on a train or whatever. Like that's true. Just go ahead and talk to them. Like. For me as well, like you need to be self confident enough to mm. believe, and then just don't take those rejections personally. Like mm. I have, I have this thing where I think like everyone is actually have like charm, mm. but it's just because they always have like a layer of mm. self doubt mm. within them. You have performance issues, anxiety. <laughs> performance anxiety, yeah. yeah, or oh yeah, you have anxiety, and then just oh. you just couldn't do it, stuff like yeah. that. So you, you need to really work on self confident and then like really mm. try to get rid of those self doubts, and that's when you actually can show your like charming side to everyone. It does take practice, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. If you're like if you're naturally an introvert like me, like mm-hmm. myself, because I I used to be awkward. I am awkward still, but I need to <laughs> warm up. Yeah, I need to warm up into yeah. things. He needs today, one ball of soju. Um, yeah, can exactly. I, can, can I ask a very, very selfish question? So if someone like me in ABC was to, maybe they speak a bit more Cantonese than me, they can speak pretty fluently, and they're yeah. trying to pick up girls in Hong Kong, right? Yeah. What are some of the cultural nuances that they should be aware of, like in Hong Kong? And what are also some similarities too? Um, let me give a bit of context. When I was in Hong Kong, I realized that sarcasm wasn't a big thing, and everybody thought I was an asshole. So, those are that. That's why exactly, I'm that question, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, it's it's really really funny. I oh god, I'm going on to like <laughs> I have too many stories, but still, I still want to say because once I was like I approached like three Hong Kong girls, and then. I only asked for one of them, one of their numbers or stuff, uh, one of their Insta, Instagram. And then like, they started like ganging up on me. Like I, I, I used, I think I used a che- kind of like cheesy pickup line. And then, cause obviously I was like one versus three, right? I can already tell like they're going to like bully me for saying this cheesy, embarrassing line. And they're like, they really did. And then they were like, oh, that is so cringe. You should try, try it on someone else, something like that. And then like, like okay fine like but i mean if i approach uh foreign girls or like white girls they wouldn't have that same mm. reaction uh, yeah i was just doing content and stuff but yeah hong kong girls i think they're really they could be really really sometimes they could be toxic i think they could be in terms of stuff like, <laughs> that. And then, like bang. <laughs> bang, the first episode <laughs> exactly like I don't, it's not it's not particularly like gongju bank but like it's just not common to mm-hmm. approach in hong kong yeah that's one thing i had to like practice and get, get used to when i first moved into america because people would just come up to you like how how's it going and i'm like oh my god i'm not prepared i have no yeah. dialogue in my yeah. head and <laughs> if i go off the script i would like be tmi you know i'll be like saying shit like it's like it, it has there's no, no preset business. script in here <laughs> So you weren't that expressive before. So you were This is that, what like... America turned her into. <laughs> no, no, no. I think she. I think you were expressive. It's just it wasn't accepted. Like it, people didn't like it. People. Yeah, people I mean, even some. Yeah, yeah. People were like, "Hey, they tai tai saying like you're too loud or." You know, they'd be like, "You're too much." Things like that. That that's what I remember. We would get kicked but... off from the bus. Me and Yasmin because we would <laughs> laugh so loud um, in Macau or yeah in... Macau wow. like just like in, in school yeah, that and stuff us. and they never the teachers always separate us because every time we're together it's just like they can't they... teach because <laughs> they say yeah, I'm a bad yeah, influence sort of the for her nope. they say I'm a bad influence y'all have good energy though like you're yeah. obvi- Paji you're obviously a lot louder right <laughs> like and more animated and you're like yeah it's a good balance you know we're perfect that's why yeah. and yang. <laughs> did you but did you guys go to like international school and stuff we went to a local uh-huh. local local school so we only have two more, local yeah. high schools in macau 
uh, like yeah. two main big ones. We went to Komeisi, like it's the pink school in Macau. If you ever been to Macau, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, yeah, we went to Chinese school <laughs> since kindergarten, and. I think if if you grew up in or if you went to like international school, you probably wouldn't experience the same thing, right? Like people yeah. would probably be more acceptable accepted of like how you yeah. are and like I was how animated always you are so and... jealous. They could dye yeah. their hair, they can put on makeup. They have lockers. Uh, uh. We have no lockers. You know, we have a quiet home, like you know, like in the the desk. <laughs> but yeah, so but we had like international <laughs> friends, so we would always compare stories. That's true. The, yeah. the big reason why is uh, we are not we weren't in international schools was because our parents couldn't really afford. Just plus financially, they, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus, they wanted us to help translate, like you know, to learn Cantonese and stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that didn't change your personality, like local school. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Something I'm really interesting. We talked about Gongji Bang and all these like different archetypes. That's like I've I've heard of that like way long ago, right? But are there any like kind of new types that are kind of like coming mm. up? I'm wondering. Like a Gen Z type, right? Because Gongji Bang is our age. Like I yeah. I I don't hang out with Hong Kong people all that much. Like Hong Kong mm. girls, it's they're really starting to get like. Cause I'm gonna try to say I go to clubs a lot and stuff. But I've just heard okay, from yeah. people. Yeah. Oh, oh you guys do. Like uh, we're from. Yeah, exactly. You guys, you guys come. Really, really easy to co- go with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> Take a tour. I'm tour, joking. dude. That should be next episode. We should go on a tour with him to LKF, yeah. man. Dude, night, that would be so life. fun. A Riz tour. <laughs> Riz tour. It's a yeah. Riz safari. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I would, I what well, I would comment on Kevin's uh, question is that it's just what I've seen so far. It's like this year, and then we have a youth people who goes to bars and clubs and stuff are really young, so much younger now. Like the, even the, yeah, because on that video, like that tall girl video, it was actually the street below La Guay Fong, yeah. LKF, and she was about to go there. I was just filming there because there are like a lot of people there, and then she's point oh five. She's eighteen what? this year. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they start clubbing. I can't. I can't go to then. Safari, bro. I might get like catch a case. No, oh they, they, they it, it depends on which clubs you go, but then like, it's really the age, the age there. Like, it's really, really like. I think there are like underage people there as well. Getting younger. And, and underage younger. people. It's yeah. It's really getting so ridiculous because social like, media yeah yeah There's and then bars like girls and, dress and, K, and you know the k room ktv room you know like oh, you, yeah. uh, those... exactly those party rooms and stuff so many just, like so know? many underage girls go there yeah. it's and crazy i knew and then, like, like high schoolers that would just go like even when they're 15 you know it's crazy exactly i think i'm not sure i'm not i, I don't know much about but like mm. in britain people do go like do start drinking and stuff like really young yeah, but nor like it used to be like our thing like right hong kong people are more like conservative like bosa you know like hong kong people are less on that yeah. side like where we have traditional stuff and like but now it's sort of like really young people dresses provocatively <laughs> oh, yeah? Provo- <laughs> exactly exactly Whoa, like, it used it, to it, be it, such a big deal if i like show just a little of my i don't know like sometimes my bra just skin <laughs> yeah just skin yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, like, whoa, 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 That, that would not be allowed in any, like, Asian households, right? Like, yeah. oh it shouldn't God. be allowed, right? Yeah. But now, like, girls, like, who are, like, 16, 17, 15, like, they just... I'm feeling, like, really sick. I don't think I can go on the safari in Hong Kong that Ben <laughs> wants to bring us. I'll, I'll be we'll sick for the next, the like, we'll, 80 we'll years. Be gar- we'll be your guards. We'll be like, hey, so, yeah. I think we'll be like, yeah, we'll, I we'll, think I'm going. Before they can approach you, we'll be like, I'm going. I think. You don't want a lawsuit. But yeah. Um, Kevin, did you note down some good notes? You know, like, do you think this like converts oh, yeah, to yeah, American yeah, girls? Yeah, Look yeah he's like all the time. He's like noting, noting down, like I got full, full notes, man. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They call they call yeah. me the Darth Rizius. 
that's what that's what one person called me i was like what the fuck because they were like dude you're like sales riz is like so good and all that and i would help them wow. write like text messages like for uncomfortable like breakup conversations or like i don't want to see your ass anymore for like girls and stuff so wow. people come to me for that advice all the time i'm like bro i'm single as fuck why are you asking me well maybe <laughs> that's a, in that case that would be probably really good for breaking up i guess but yeah you're you're the Riz Lord too. <laughs> Rizzler, Rizzler. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. When he was like my age, he goes around. <laughs> oh, look at you. I got I got so many Hong Kong stories, but maybe that'll be for another day. <laughs> Thank and you thanks so for staying me. up so late. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the British uh, the British mannerisms, man, on point. I bet that like ups his Riz game too. He said, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. People, I think people used to say I have. American accent, but um, no, no, you don't. You don't sound <laughs> <Okay>. like me <laughs> at all. Uh, Plus, if it's... you if you do like play your Riz game here in America, people girls would oh. love you. I, I, for some reason, girls love the UK accent, the British oh, wow. accent. Uh, yeah. a, a yellow boy speaking, <laughs> speaking no. in English, English <laughs> banana, yeah. 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 banana, extra and uh, extra exotic. <laughs> dude this kid said naughty earlier and i was like oh my god that's what my freaking ex used to say like in hong kong naughty. And shit. yeah all the time i was like that's like or she used to say words like raunchy and shit i was like what the fuck is that? i was so stupid back then i was like what the fuck is that doritos like cool ranch or something i have no idea what the fuck <laughs> also raunchy dumb. dorito yeah like cool ranch Cool. I didn't know she was trying to like seduce me and stuff back in the day. <laughs> oh my god. That is so dumb, so um, dude. Wait, what uh, do you say for naughty like in, in, in American English? Because I grew up saying what, naughty too, like growing what, up. What, what's the context oh, yeah, that you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Naughty. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. like if you're a kid and you're like, Imagine. you know, rebellious, you do stuff that piss your parents off. Like, that's yeah. naughty. Yeah. What um, do you, what do you use in American English? What's the context that you'd use it uh, in, in, like, you said naughty. Uh, uh, yeah, I was just saying I was just rebellious and I didn't oh. listen to my mom. <laughs> in that context, saying? oh, in con that context, I would be like, dude, I was so bad. Oh. But when I'm talking to a girl, I'm like, damn, she's bad. Like, it oh. changes. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> AKA guys, remember this. Oh, girls, remember this. You know, if you hear that, if a guy says you're bad, it's a good thing. Actually, it depends on how you say it. She but was really so bad. bad. She was like really bad. That's not good. It's a tonality. It's a tonality. <laughs> tonality <laughs> matters. Three times. Tonality is like everything. Implicit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know how to say it in can Canto. Oh. Like she's so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, in terms of like, in what she's context? so attractive. She's oh. attractive. And like, uh, oh, so oh, dang. Oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yasmin, yeah. Oh, oh dang. dang. Oh, really? Kevin, wow. Kevin needs to learn this. Yeah. Kevin. Yeah, so. Oh, dang. dang. Yeah. Yeah. Or, oh, so. Do they That's still use so that? Oh, so is like more physically. Right? Dude, all my, like, all my HK. HK Bob friends say that in like the US and stuff. And I was like trying to catch on for a long <laughs> time, like in high school. Yeah. I would say the SOP one is actually quite outdated already. Oh, I'm outdated. <laughs> that shows oh, your age. We, <laughs> we need to ask this. What is outdated Riz? That's okay. So like my papa is teaching me how to Riz up. I don't listen to my papa at all or my mom <laughs> or anything. I want to know what outdated Riz is. Take father. <laughs> 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 If you call a girl, uh, like if you call one of those LKF girls sock nowadays, I don't think they know what the hell you, you mean. Like, what do you say think... to call someone sexy? Senkam. <laughs> Just yeah, jang, jang, like jang, jang, jang. Some choy ho jang. Your body looks jang. <laughs> But yeah, I, yeah, I think I, I'm actually I'm considered old as well. Not Are right you? Now. Like, oh, fuck! I'm mean, a dinosaur then. Fuck. The average age in LKF probably sixteen. <laughs> no, even I don't like. They have slangs and terms and stuff. Like, Damn. I have no idea what they mean. Like, but, they probably have a new. They probably have a new 
new way of saying it. I just don't know. You're <laughs> you're 23. You're so young. I would figure that you'd like know what's happening on like. Do you know how old we are? <laughs> Yo, Vin, if Diu Jai takes off in Hong Kong, you know the origin. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Make it, make it, make it take off. Make it take off. Make me proud, man. <laughs> trend, trendsetter. I'm gonna, trendsetter. Yeah. Trendsetter. Okay. Make yeah. this trend. Make this a trend. It was on this podcast. It was on this podcast. So, do you guys yeah. have any have anything record. to shout out before we close? You know, like coming yeah. projects. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to China Ooh. on Sunday. Foshan, Foshan. And I'm gonna try to do some videos there, but it's gonna be funny. Bro. I think because uh, my Mandarin isn't that good. I'm oh, just yeah? gonna try. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like a few more series, but now I think, yeah, I just need to stay consistent. And hmm. I hope you guys do well as well. Thank you. In terms of content. Thank you. Kevin, That's so anything interesting. New? Um. I mean, you guys know how to find me. YouTube, Instagram, all that. Refugeehustle.com slash links. It has everything. So it has all my projects and all that too. So, but yeah, let's Check chop it up in the DMs, man. Check it out. Thank you for making Thank all this happen. You're Kevin. welcome. <laughs> it was fun. It's fun. <laughs> like, it's just fun reaching out to other creators. And uh, I just thought it would add some yeah. cool guests to your podcast. Yeah. I think we, we should definitely collab. Or do something, and when we have some ideas and stuff, sure. I'll try to learn more Cantorius. Try to learn more. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always great to have Kevin Vincent. here, and so happy to meet Vincent. Um, I'm sure all our followers would appreciate this episode so much. <laughs> uh, you know? Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for inviting me here. Vincent, right. are you are ready go, to go out to LKF now? Go downstairs? <laughs> go to 7-Eleven and LKF on the corner? Is that still there? Nah, nah, Time for him to I'm sleep. Old. Nah, I'm too, old. I'm too old for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I need to grind and then I need to get my actual girlfriend. Back you know what I mean? Because I want to afford, cause I wanna afford bringing her to LA. That's what I guess I mean. That's cool. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah, man. But... that's good. All right. Thank you, guys. Hold on. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yasmin. Thank you, Pasha. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We'll do it a new, fun. like, we'll do a PG channel next time. Because my <laughs> podcast will, my podcast will be, like, Kid friendly. We can talk about anything there. <laughs> non kid friendly. Non, non 15 year old friendly. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Let us know. Oh, yeah. Oh. Keep working. So recently I asked, I had a podcast with my papa, and I was asking her about my family history. And apparently my gong gong, he, uh, he left China. Mm -hmm. He went to Hong Kong to work and stuff. And guess which place he, he like used to hang out? Oh, boy. In Hong Kong. No, in Hong Kong. Never mind. <laughs> in Hong Kong. I thought she would go that to Macau. That's all. Oh. Thumbsay Bo, where is where I used to hang out and shit oh. and became friends with the tofu ladies and stuff. So Damn. it's so crazy that like 50 years later, yo, the young generation like repeats the same things. And I was oh like, dude, these were the same streets that my gong gong was like hanging out. So it was pretty At cool. the time, you didn't know that, right? I didn't. I Imagine, didn't know that. Imagine like the people there probably knew your gong gong too. <laughs> Probably no. I mean, we both like, had no hair, so we're, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. But that was a that was a really cool story. I found out some other really crazy things about my family, but we can save it for another time. That's do so you, cool, do you though. find out that like through um, those like DNA tests or something? Um, Did I find out? No, I asked my papa. No, oh, you asked your papa, right? Papa, papa, papa did, have you ever done that type of thing? The DNA test. Thing. uh Let's we're thinking out. about it uh i re really want to share this story but i don't know how my cousin would feel about this so i don't know i got a story for you okay. guys but i don't know i gotta think about how to deliver it next time stay so. tuned guys stay tuned it's a really juice it's a really juicy story. as long as there's no incest involved <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh god my he didn't oh. say no! there might be there might be <laughs> and that's the hook <laughs> curiosity hook right there i will <laughs> Oh, God.